Welcome into the Quakes post game show. Sammy O'Brien alongside Zach Bigley will take you through every home game the Quakes have this season tonight. Unfortunately, they fall 12 to 2 to the Lancaster Jethawks and with the win, the Jethawks clinched the first half champs of the South Division. Zach, they did look good on the field tonight. They did. Hats off to Lancaster and they deserved it. They were the better team here in the last two games and they were the best team in the South so far this season. So the second half is going to be where the Quakes are going to try to clinch the division. That's going to be the key. Can these guys who are really young, it's a young roster, show that they can play a 140 game season and play all the way through? It's going to be a lot of fun in the second half. Quake struggled tonight from the pitching. Devin Smeltzer getting the start, not looking as good as his first two. And then the offense act, nothing going again for the second straight night. 16 runners stranded last night, 10 runners stranded tonight. They go two for 10 with runners in scoring position. Not going to cut it on the offensive side. They sprinkled hits here and there, but they just couldn't get that big hit to knock them in again here tonight. Hopefully, after the All-Star break, they'll be able to get some rest, and they'll come out swinging in Lancaster next Thursday. But one more game left tomorrow. Don't forget, it's a, it's a day game tomorrow at Lomar Field. Quakes will try and split the series at least tomorrow with the Jet Hawks. It's a 205 start. Caleb Ferguson, the expected starter. We'll see what happens. For Quakes Post Game Show tonight, Samuel O'Brien alongside Zach Bigley. We'll see you guys tomorrow.